Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm reviewing yet another cigar from Crown Heads, but this is a collaboration between Crown Heads and Drew Estate. This is the La Coalition, and this size is the Siglo 6x52. There is your density. Decent feel in the hand. Now, this is pretty much a collaboration between the big minds, Willie Herrera and John Huber. Uh, Willie Herrera, of course, of Drew Estate, John Huber of uh, Crown Heads. They have uh, similar visions of how cigars should be and go in the industry in a, as a whole. So they uh, they collaborated and did a good job, I think. I've already had several, but we'll see how, they, how this one stacks up here on game day. Now, this cigar uses a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, Sumatra binder, Nicaraguan, and Dominican fillers. Made in the uh, Drew Estate factory. Comes in four sizes, a Corona, a Gordito, Siglo, and a Sublime. And they range in price from $10.95 to $14.95. So that's pretty much uh, long and short, as we say of it. So let's get right to it. The new La Coalición, which means coalition in Spanish, which makes sense, two forces combining together. And this is the Siglo. All right. It's really a, really a nice looking cigar. Well made, dark. Okay, good draw, that's good. Well, your first flavors are a cedar with green apple. Nice cinnamon, quite a bit of nutmeg, and a large black coffee base. There are touches of caramel in the mix, spread faintly through the mix. There is also a white pepper at about seven and a half. I almost expected to change to black, but it's white at this point, so... That is how we start. I'm going to stick with that assessment for now, and let's just see where we are at the first third. First third. From the beginning to the first third, I lost that high-pitched green apple flavor. And if you notice, even though this is a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, I mentioned nothing about chocolate in the first segment. And there's not any here, per se. There is some cocoa notes. And there's a decent amount of black coffee, but that's it. Now you've got a nice cedar, some caramel and brown sugar, some cinnamon, quite a bit of nutmeg, some dry cocoa, and black coffee. And it's almost a light amount of leather. I would say the nutmeg is a leathery nutmeg, but it's lightly leathery nutmeg, very lightly. The finish has some of that dry cocoa and nutmeg. With a decent amount of lingering black pepper, not a large amount. Medium body right now. But it's a it's a good cigar. It's, it's nice flavors. I'm starting it off at 93 for the first third. Um, would like to see things sort of pop a little more, but it's good flavors. It's right now, it's right there. It's something I could buy again and have and be fine with. But let's see where we go from here.
Well, I'm going to call that in the second third just for the sake of we're at the band. It's just a little further up from that, but this is going to be the end of the second third, and I'm going to remove the band while I'm talking to you. Now, the flavor notes are like I described before. Only thing is, the sweetness really dipped. Um, it's got a lot of nice, now pronounced, leathery, nutmeg, cocoa. The brown sugar and the uh, caramel have just decreased. They're not going away, but they've decreased. So I'm lowering the score to 92. It's not a big drop, but it's not a 93 anymore. The finish is unchanged. Maybe a low grade, medium to full. I'm a little surprised at the strength. It's just not as powerful as I thought it would be at this point. But that's where we are at the second third. So let's see what the final third brings and see what we've got score-wise. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Well, the cigar kept transitioning in the same direction, in the same manner. I don't think I have any cedar notes left. You do have some light brown sugar, caramel, nutmeg, and cocoa as your sweeter flavors. Black coffee. And it's not even that elevated for a uh, Connecticut broadleaf. I mean, it's just, this is not typical Connecticut broadleaf, in my opinion. Medium to full bodied, solid medium to full. Finish is still about the same. Cocoa and uh, nutmeg. You can throw in a little bit of uh, a touch of caramel. It's, it's got a little sweetness to it. And some uh, improved lingering black pepper. The black pepper on the front end is actually pretty good. It's not great. It's pretty good. But the cigar just sort of kept floundering slowly downhill when it's 91 here in the final third. So uh, overall score, averaging it out, is 92. It starts out as a really pretty good daggone cigar. And it just sort of dropped off as it went. Final third really just had nice flavors, but it's not anything fantastic. So thus the score. So there you have it. The new La Coalition by Crown Heads and Drew Estate. The Siglo 92.